Okay, hello. Uh, this is OGPL week four recap. Yeah, week four. We're on to week five now. Um, I went to Potato again. Last week, we had one tie, and then we had two beatdowns. Um, I mean, yeah, that's what happened. Some beat. dubious beatdowns. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this week we have one tie, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. let's go down through the thread. Uh, we'll probably talk about week five after we go through the games from last week. Sounds good. Uh, scrolling. There are so many posts in the thread this week, by the way. There's like s- over 60 posts, which is pretty impressive. Um, first series, Alyssa VGC versus Stable Prince. Uh, oh, I don't want to relive this week, dude. I, I kind of forgot series. when we said like we're going to do the recap that like this week happened and I have to rewatch everything yeah. that happened to this week. <laughs> yeah, you have to watch. You, you lose a lot of games. I'm just, this is going to just be a lot of me molding. I'm sorry in advance. Yeah, it's, all, it's all right. Uh, let's see. So yeah, Stable Prince versus uh, I mean Stable Prince versus Alyssa VGC Black White game one. Um, yeah, this is Black White one v one. I don't even remember what happened in most of these games. We have Metagross and the Kong. Goodbye, Kong Kelder. Wait, Kong. And so game one, it's Wait, like Kong. it's like Trick Scarf. Uh, why do why do we Kong? Like I don't know why. What what like? Unclear okay, so Trick Scarf is Jelly is like a roll to live Zen but Zen Headbutt two with KO, and you have Curse Body Chance. It's, it's obviously body. your best odds into Metagross. Um, but yes, this team is a little suspect to the Zen Headbutt Metagross guy. Mm-hmm. That doesn't excuse suspect. the zero three Kong. So I don't, I don't or the the one two the two one Kong into the fucking O three Karak. <laughs> I don't know. What yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, that was a little uh, puzzling. Uh, game hey. two. Alyssa brings Pillow Swine. Ryder brings brought the team last week. Uh, we see Hatchers into Pillow Swine. See, Pillow Swine lives. Oh, yeah, this is Counter Hatchers. The critical. Yeah, hit. I mean, Demon Hatchers can, yeah, can't lose. Can Pillow Swine. Uh, yeah, Pillow Swine pack. That 3 0 uh, Next see, next game. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't remember any of these series. Double Steel Arcanine. Um, yeah, I agreed. <laughs> Versus a DPP team from like three years ago, maybe. See, T turn to Arcanine. See, Chapelberry. Nope, this shit is in dirt. Bonk. Let's ban CC. See, EQ hey, kill. Can we talk about the Arcanine pick, by the way? Yeah, just. Mm, actually, that's a good question. I guess if you don't expect. I guess it's better than. Actually. Hmm. Curious. Curious. I don't think anything needs to be said. On, I just. I want to leave. <laughs> Yeah, I was just curious. See, next yeah. game. Uh, I'm just going to click play it. I fell asleep at preview. See, Snorlax into Kiram. Specs Kiram, Draco. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. I think. Oh, yeah, I remember Stable Belly Jump turn one this game. It's probably not the play, but it didn't matter. Curious Belly Jump, but it didn't matter. It, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you yeah, went for fine. some outs. Like, it, I guess it's maybe. No, 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 no. I think is... Return is better because you have the, like, double miss. No, you have miss odds, or mm-hmm. is. Is and it the have, same either way? Do you only care about miss? I don't know. Kill anyway. Yeah. I guess. Um, oh, if they miss turn one, if they miss turn one, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Kuhn anyway. wins here as long as it's not like HP Grass, which is in the sets comp. Mm-hmm. So Radu was worried about that. Um, realistically, it's just HP Rock or some mm-hmm. bullshit Volk set counter. Mm-hmm. Even though there's like another Volt, there's a Jellicent on this team. Yeah, there's a Jellicent. Know. Speaking of game five, there's a Jellicent and a Volcarona. Uh, Rado brings the game one team again. We see Jelly into Volcarona. Uh, Trick. This is Specs Volcarona Giga Drain. Slurp. Slurp. Doesn't do a KO. And Hydro Pump miss. And then Rado is slain. He, yeah. He yeah, doubles the first is... body and Hydro Pump <laughs> miss. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no curse body into miss. Pretty much impossible. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, GG1. Um. Uh, let me go to talk about. Oh my god, I forgot about this series. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember this series. Okay, I think a lot of this okay. shit happened while I was at work on Saturday. Oh no, this is like Thursday this shit. I don't, I don't know. Thursday games. I remember this... a bunch of games happened on Saturday, and I, I still haven't seen them. So we're gonna have some fresh reactions. Yeah, it's uh, all right. today. So game one. We have, we have a kind of suspicious sock matchup. Our sock matchup is Iron Head Flinch. Um, alternatively, we go Kiram. Then we hope it's like Jolly Nature Bam. Just probably. Yeah, just probably don't be reductive. But we get smoked. So goodbye, Kiram. Uh, game two. I assume Drip meant don't be scarf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, game two. Um, Drip is a little among us versus Venusaur, but we're a little among us versus Victini. Here we could play. Talking goes D Knight for a little discernible reason. I guess into the specs Vic without Glaciate, which is fair. So yeah, Dragonite specs. 
Anyway, and then Drip Drip goes Diancy for no reason whatsoever because this is like a hard O three for Iron Head Dragonite. But like I guess Drip expected Specs D Knight, right? Except the plot thickens when Drip Legend does not stay regular because if you stay regular, you're gonna live the surf no matter what. But Drip Legend. Why would you? Mega what, why would you ever mega? Wait, why would you ever mega? Yeah, I don't know. There's not really reason to mega. Anyway, that was like an insane like, roll that we got, but. No, but like I can't think of. Is there like not really a single reason to? Wait, like there has to be yeah. some reason, right? Maybe he was protect okay. magnet rise and wanted. No, but you still <laughs> not. Mm. Yeah, when we took EQ band, yeah, okay. But doesn't doesn't it live band EQ and non mega? Yeah, probably. But I mean, I'm thinking uh, Iron Head because it's like. No, I'm gonna need Drip to explain yeah. this one to me afterwards. Yeah, I don't. Right. I. I uh, yeah, yeah I mean, that was an O three Diancy, and it almost worked. But we got we got the roll because it was an O three Diancy. Anyway, uh, next game. This is an honorable game. Uh, we got seen the series. Team. It's coming back to me. I, I I just the game four and game five came back to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See so game three. We have a veteran specs Vict pick. Fortunately, not Trick Room Guard on this team. Can we achieve victory? Um. Yeah. Game four. I don't think right, Trick Room Guard beats this, right? I feel like Trick Room Guard would lose if it has any other move. Or is that? Oh, that Specs. I I don't know why no, I just assumed that yeah. raw blue flare to sixty five. Yeah. No. Yeah, game four. We're being double fire okay. with Blaziken plus Gardevoir and Drift Legend. Beat, okay. Drift Legend's team beats like zero Pokemon like ever. <laughs> like actually just. Nah, no. 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 I believe in like, this team, man. And this <laughs> and this is the Mawile with no counterplay. Like, oh my god, I couldn't believe this happened. No, then, no, 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 that, that, that Thunderous guy has it in the bag, man. Yeah. And then on preview, I low-key thought our Blaziken won. Then I realized that Diancy can stay regular, and then we lose. So Also, like, epic high jump kick, like, super 50-50s, because oh, yeah. yeah, you have to, like, not H hit it on into Protect yeah. multiple times. Yeah, and there's HJK 50-50s with Protect, so yeah, basically there's a 0% chance you win. So basically, hey, it's okay, because Taka's, Taka's better, and he predicts the Diancy and goes Diancy. the... Oh, no, actually, never mind. The Gardevoir's a 3-0. But anyways, he, he goes he goes the Gardevoir, which which beats Diancy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just go turn by turn. So turn one. So turn one, Drip Legend clicks regular Diamond Storm. So, okay. So no Mega Evolution was picked, no Skill Swap was clicked. Anyway. So observe that. Turn one, Taka clicks... Trick Room. Then turn two, we see Disable, and then Moonblast. Okay. So no skill slot picks. Um, no, I don't know. Yeah. Are we, no we going to overlook the Disable for no reason? We're, 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 we're getting there. And then... Okay, okay. Turn three, Hyper Voice is 57. That's a lot. So we probably could have clicked that last turn and one, but no problem. Yeah, probably. Pro no problem. And then Drip Legend also stays regular this turn. We could have Mega Evolved in just one. That's all right. Um, it's not true. Actually, that's not true. If you got Hyper Beam, you lose. Good point. Okay, that's fine. Okay, turn four. No, no, wait. Either way, what do you mean? Either way, it's wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, you mean oh, you mean when on the on the Moon Blast, he could have. Yeah, could have Mega on the first. Spell. Oh, on the Hyper Voice. Sorry, I'm, I'm a, I thought you meant a turn after. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah no, he could have just Mega and killed the guard immediately. Yeah. Um, on turn four, we see the first Protect clicked, so that's cool. And Hyper Voice, and then yeah, Drip has to go for the Double Protect here. Mega Evolve Double Protect, and he gets it. Uh, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> Both these cards are terrible. Moving on. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Chip got 3 0 by Gardevoir and Mega Mall. Wow, but one. Anyway, game five. Um, see, so Chainsy get picked. It's Gardevoir. We trick him guard again. Then we hard disable the S toss. And then Drip Legend is not toxic, so we win. So. Yeah, good series across the board. That's a raw as fuck hard disable for no <laughs> reason. No, I'm not. That's not raw. That's stupid. I don't call. No, <laughs> no, no. Bad plays aren't raw. Never no, mind. No, My bad. No. 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 I'm going no, no. to S wins. Also, this yeah. is cool. this is Growl Chansey with Heat Rain and Tolder Kiss. Are you serious? Anyway, <laughs> it's all right. Whatever. Yeah, get the series. Out I approve of three Charizard dances on a team. That's something I would build. Okay, I'm going to the next series. RTM two versus Sword is board. Yeah, no, this is real ORS. Look at this. Real <laughs> man's ORS. Keldeo, Togekiss, Mobile, yeah! Keldeo, Terrakion on my screen. This looks like a free... This looks like a free Togekiss and Dodge Track Stone Edge. I went Mobile into Sylveon. Also respectable. No Charizard pick. Wait, Sylveon? Why was Sylveon picked? Alright, whatever. That's the Keldeo like, answer. Is, is this that HP Fire would kill? Oh, I guess it is the Keldeo answer. Yeah, I'll just go Charizard and win that matchup somehow. Anyway. I'm kind of surprised HP Fire didn't do a key of them all, honestly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> me too, low-key. Uh, game 2. 
RTM is a little 3 0 by Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. RTM, RTM, risk, player off, miss for no reason. Don't don't let him live that down. The Iron Head? He could have suckered twice. Oh, interesting. Yeah, nobody suckers twice. <laughs> uh, game two. Apparently nobody, yeah. So is RTM a little 3 0 by um, Superior? Goes for the Valiant. No, there's a mobile. There's, there's a mobile. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Why didn't they mow while? Dang, scared of Blaziken? Wow. Of yeah, Blaziken. man, gotta pick into wow. the Blaziken. <laughs> okay. Can't let Blaziken get on I the bingo, man. I was on the screen. Yeah, that's fair. I would win that match if it's Serp somehow. I'm not sure how. You've seen yeah. the bingo, right? <laughs> what are your I'm thoughts gonna... on Blaziken like, not having a win by week five? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on, that one's pretty bad. Yeah, quite. Anyway. Uh, next game... Yeah, both of these players are just, I don't know what's going on on this team preview. I'm just going to press play. You know, I, th I think for week five, we have to review the bingo. I think we need to bring up the bingo at the <laughs> yeah, end of week sure. five. Yeah. So we have yeah. Volcano and showing fear of Whimsicott. But Specs HPI says, or Scarf HPI says 30%. Well played. Good by Volcano. See you next game. Kind of impressed with Scarf doing that much. Yeah, 30 is a lot. It doesn't make a lot of us. Maybe um, that was like a really bulky Specs. I don't know. Next game, I very much dislike both teams. Well, it was faster, so it wasn't spikes. Um, no, no, maybe it's a really, I mean, like, it's a really bulky, like, Latias, where it's slower than the game. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, hang on, I, I, should, I don't think it, I think it, with zero speed, it's still faster, so I should stop trolling. Uh, uh, no, I think, um, maybe it's 256 with zero speed, yeah, so it, like, like, Tim and Volcano yeah. will barely outspeed. But I think that's enough flirt for now. Um, that, do, that was definitely scary. Maybe RTM yeah. shows no fear of the Ferrothorn. Just goes guard. Um, is this cuss that Manaphy? We'll never know. Anyway, game five. Um, yeah, these are a lot of low tiered mods. I'd pick Metagross versus both teams and win, probably. For How sure. did you even beat Metagross, man? I guess maybe Sub Leech Seed Venusaur. Yeah, anyway, I pick Metagross in the both of teams and win because this heat trans not balloon. So I'll just pick Metagross and win. Yeah, this is the Metagross 6 0. Uh, Band Iron Tail. Okay, this is like 1000% balloon, like heat trans, right? Like no, no one's not. actually just running a team 3 0 by it. Really? I, I know the team. It's not. <laughs> yeah. God. He just loses the Metagross, but it's fine. Yeah, both players lose the Metagross. It's okay. Nothing wrong here. But yeah, RTM achieves victory. Yeah, get Oros out. Get, get Oros out of my. Phase. Get this, get this I guess this here. is Oras where you're not really fearing protect Metagross, so you can just run any Tran and beat Metagross in quotation marks. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. Yeah, unless you just don't kind of protect on. when you have it. Anyway, now we get to some real series. <laughs> we get to some real series. <laughs> Savage versus Scholar. Uh, three games, zero GG said. Uh, okay, so first time seeing this. Uh, game one. Uh, I think we have the epic Aka Rock 2 Metagross. Maybe pick it in the Zapdos. Oh, hell nah. And I'm I'm playing this on hyper fast. Actually, I don't even really want to analyze this game. Basically, all Stravage has to do is hit one Rock Tomb on a Roost, then he wins, which he eventually does. He can also get like Mash raises as well in eight tries, and Zen will just do like too much damage. Anyway, Stravage is not outplayed for thirty turns, so he wins. Anyway, game two. Stravenge brings a real team. We got Earth Ring, Reg Ice on the screen. That's what I like to see. A hey, um, classic ADV team. Scholars brings three top tiers. But the bad matching with the Earth Ring, though. So yeah, we see Earth Ring and a T-Tar. Our Earth Ring clicks Protect. So we get so we get the Flame Orb boost. T-Tar clicks DD. Then clicks Crunch, which is 78. And then Close Combat Yo, it is, fucking dies. Close Combat Yo. is 100% through Chapel Berry. 100%. Yeah, I agree with close. One hundred. <laughs> I agree with close. That shit took one hundred. So shout out Earth Ring. <laughs> uh, game three. Yeah, game two is pretty tame. I don't even remember what happened. I think we just clicked our safe infernate. Yeah, and then Scholar went Zapdos, and then was slain. I've never seen the Avatar Scholars using right now before. By the way, what? I've never seen this in my life. Uh, oh, that that is. Yeah, I've never seen that either. Anyway, we're we're also odd HP, but let's just ignore that. Or not odd, but like not divisible by four HP. It's fine, whatever. 
<laughs> anyway, sure, I'm, sure I'm there is no guess in this tier, true. I agree with close, easy DPP lesson. I agree. Go play to Shadow. <laughs> uh, then we have some Eevee Kid. Dude. Okay, first, look at Eevee Kid's win post, man. He took my win post and then fused it with uh, Arshi. He took um my win post and then fused it with PG's PG's uh, win post. This this, no, crazy. this is literally like, this is William and this is William or Ebler <laughs> fused with PG into this one. Is, and I hate it. I hate everything about this. Cursed thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, we so got to add the Shadow Crucified big fan. Are you what? <laughs> it's so crazy. Anyway. Oh, don't yeah. leave this one. Why, why did it get edited, by the way? No, like because, an hour later. Yeah, who knows? Okay, because Evie Kid, Evie Kid tagged Crucify Me instead of Crucify if you click on the name. And, and then edited it out, but still left the tag as that. Wait! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened there. <laughs> anyway, we have some good ADD I was wondering gameplay. how the mention was capitalized, <laughs> but now I understand. Now my questions are answered. Yeah, they just took yeah. out the me part and yeah. decided to keep the link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. There's no fuck. I thought this whip post couldn't get worse. I. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the, okay, GGs, okay. the GG's WP is getting me. I, I, I can't keep looking at this. Okay, on to ADB. Uh, I think EVK just clicked the free Toxic Tauros in one. Also, people are happy. So, like, we're still faster at plus one. It's the slowest Gyarados known to man. Anyway, uh, EVK does not misplay. Yeah. We win. Peep, peep the Lychee Berry activating before poison. For those of you who don't know ADB mechanics, that's how it works. I mean, that and, makes sense, yeah. See you next game. See, I don't even remember what happened in this game. I think we lost the Swampert. Yeah, we did. We did Moltres in the Swampert. Oh, I just like subconsciously skipped all the other games and went on to your series. I just like <laughs> I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just like started opening the first <laughs> play of your game. Fine. Anyways, so, yeah, Crucify Sun wins. Nice job, Crucify Sun. Uh, yeah, good the same team. Pretty sure Nick Nick clicked Crucify Sun again. Nope, click Zyo Zyo Jr. So this is Zyo Sun this time. <laughs> He's a great nickname. Yeah. yeah. He's the hard dynamic punch versus Charizard. And that's a play I what? respect. That's a play I respect. <laughs> hard dynamic punch. That's a play I'm very confused by. Those are the odds. Those are the odds. No, the odds are dodging Blast Burn. <laughs> Those are the odds, man. Anyway, we're just, we're just anti Raikou shit again. So we meet you victory. Uh, game two, we have a or in game four, we have a little Among Us opposing Vaporeon matchup, and then we don't get the double crit. Yeah, that's basically, Eevee Kid doesn't play her best Dawes, but it's okay. Uh, on to game five. Does yeah, Vaporeon both... beat, like, Leech S Toss Sceptile because you have, like, you live with the. Yes, yeah. You have more HP. You have more HP than Registeel, right? Because Registeel, yeah. does it just die, or does it just, is it PP? Is it a Reg PP problem? Registeel, or Registeel? Loses. Registeel only has 300. But HP. does it. Does it dies while the leech is going off, or is it because it just doesn't have enough PP to keep resting forever? Like eventually runs out of rests. Hmm, that's an interesting. If question. it's the latter, then Vapor should also lose. Hmm. I remember Logan labbed this with me once, but I don't remember what happened. <laughs> like I know that it loses because people always say that it loses, and I, I believe the Registeel loses. Because I remember fucking beating Registeel with like Leech Flame Celesteela and shit. Like it, it, I think it's just because it gets out PP'd. I think you just, like, Sceptile has obviously more than 48 PP, like, yeah. total. But I think yeah. it can just spam S-Toss forever, and eventually the, the Mon dies. So I think Vapor loses as well. I had to think about that for a sec. Okay, okay. Pretty sure Vapor wins, because it, like, doesn't die. I, I... Never. Okay, right, let's, let, we gotta play this out in the recap, man. <laughs> we're not playing this out in the recap. There's a <laughs> lot more series to go. We're, we're pretty 20 yeah, minutes, and we're not even, like, close. Right, no, right. but I, I, I think Vapor should lose, anyways. Moving on. Anyway, game five. Both players just don't beat Tauros, <laughs> but Nick doesn't pick Tauros. Um, I think Nick expected Toxic Tauros, and then died in 1 to 100. Like, he returned those 100%, by the way. What? Yeah, and then peep Eevee Kid in the chat. Like, what? Eevee, Eevee, Eevee Kid just has a mental breakdown. That's fine. Um, this happens every single series I watch Eevee Kid play. <laughs> True. But yeah, Eevee Kid, Eevee Kid continues to win by spam clicking Tauros and Charizard, which I respect. Um, Oh yeah, next, next is my series. Nice. So yeah, we see the Hariyama gif. Yeah, no, that, or gif, that whichever you prefer. Uh, it's a gif. See. So game one, I bring Not Zygog. Not I'm sorry. Then game, game one, game one, I don't pick the Metagross 2-1 again, and I get punished. And yeah, it's just, it's just Balloon, Jirachi, so I get extra botted. So I'm like, hmm, I fucking died to Icy Wind. So I'm just like, okay, time to sub to 
father form and hope I live. But yeah, I do not live. It's fine. Goodbye, this Zygert. is like no bulk Zygert or what is this? What is this? I was trying to calculate this afterwards. It is I was Zydog. like, yo, that took yeah, a lot. It's, it's no bulk Zydog, man. <laughs> yeah. If I was oh. Zygert 50% or had any bulk at all, I would have won. But it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. No, I don't know. This is this is a fascinating uh, Zygert answer on this game, for <laughs> sure. Anyway, I should have just picked the Metagross 2 1. Anyway, uh, game two. Let's see. I mean, this was funny. I was like, hmm, what's Zara set is this? So I'm like, hmm. I don't think it's mixed because he's a meta champ. So I'm like, hmm, is this Dragonium or is this um Oh, is this your fucking like I picked this into Zara game? Yes. So I'm like, hmm, is this Dragonium or Ban? And I'm like, hmm. I mean I, I expected him to go meta champ anyway, because he's scared of Crustle. But I'm like, hmm, if he's Dragonium Zara, I'm pretty sure I win. Um I'm like hundred percent sure I'd be okay. Dragonium Zara with this. Anyway, I get Sorry, I, I missed out. the beginning of this tangent. Why would it be Dragonium? No, 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 I was just thinking about possibilities. But like, cause like once I rule, once I rule that electrum, I'm like, hmm, what else is there? Dragonium, so he doesn't lose to Scarf Dragonite. Hmm. Dragonium, so he doesn't lose to Garchomp. Hmm. Probably one of those. But also probably. Banned. I'm definitely in favor. Yeah. I think this is choice banned in conclusion. Yeah, this is definitely banned because I mean I expect him to be scared of crossover or crowdless. Anyway. Yeah. I so yeah, I get crit, so I think I lose. But then I'm like, hmm, nice. It's not poison jab, but. So I won versus Poison Jab if I didn't get crit by the thingy. Because Z, Z Baby Doll Eyes is pretty powerful versus physical attackers. Yeah, it's you you take a bit less than uh than just, you know, the raw hit. Yeah. So. With with my yeah, with minus one plus one defense, what is that? Like a two point two five by yeah, there's by. some mathematics going on here. I, I think that's the mathematics, but yeah. Anyway, next game was not very good for me. I just had the funny set because I'm like, oh, if he goes Landorus, I pick Normally and cross him and I win. Let's go. But really, he's like never going to go Landorus here. I what the fuck is this Gardevoir? Anyway, this is Trick Room Gardevoir a la Ores. <laughs> um, no, yeah. Trick Room Gardevoir a la SM. <laughs> okay, it's like Ores Trick Room Gardevoir in SM. Has to run HP Rock Wizard Y. Anyway, I get the four hit. Because I got air slash finished by Zard Y last week, so I get the four hit. So yeah, it's fine. Um I wouldn't have needed the four hit if I was Rockium. Actually, no, that's a fucking lie. I thought Rockium was Rockium for no reason just now. Wow. Anyway. Anyway, I get the four hit. William? Yeah, William? it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh next game. <laughs> yeah, this this game I have no comment. I thought he was sub Zard one hundred percent. So I'm like, hmm, how does this how does my opponent defeat po uh, Togekiss? And the answer is he just did not defeat Togekiss. And I'm just like I'm going to outplay sub. But then that was not a good play. <laughs> but I just, want to, I, just want to, yeah. I just want to let the record show. If he was sub Charizard, I was getting every turn right and winning. That's all I'm saying. You yeah. were going to look so cool, man. I trust. <laughs> so I make a very questionable play and lose. And then I decide to bring Hariyama when it's 2-2. Uh, it's a pretty good Hariyama matchup. Except they can lose to all mons pretty easily. Because, like, I mean, I literally just died to PZ. Um... Zard X literally just clicks Outrage and I lose. If it has like any bulk. And then Gyarados, if it's Flyzy, I win. If it's not Flyzy, I if it's not Flyzy, I okay, win. Okay, okay, okay. Pause, 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 pause. Why are you running Rocky and Hariyama if it just dies to Charizard X? <laughs> okay, if it's not Wookie Charizard X, it lives. Also, I didn't build this. I just decided, I decided to bring it though. Anyway, thank you for the No, but like, okay, I don't like, like, to die to outrage, to even be a roll versus outrage, you need to have no bulk, like, no defense, no, no I mean, HP. I'm too KO'd, I'm too KO'd, and I don't kill back if it's oh, like. Oh, okay. No, I thought you might just die in one, and I'm like, what the <laughs> yeah, fuck I'm not is this dying. I'm not dying in one. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, fortunately for me, Rayleigh's switched to Team and is now Charizard Mega Y. Uh, so I win versus this because I'm Thick Fat, so he can't Blast Burn. And I somehow don't get Air Slash flinched. I didn't even know that was possible, but I didn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't get air slash flinched every week. <laughs> like, anyway, yeah, there's got to be breaks sometimes. Then Melee brings the same team three times in a row, and then I'm like, hmm, this looks like a free Charizard Y, so I just pick Zard Y, and then it's not Scarf PZ. I don't, I don't know why Waylaid picked this actually. I think Waylaid expected me to be Charizard X, and then also this be if it was conversion to be Metagross. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Well, if it wasn't Scarf, it was Conversion. So I think he just thought this was like Epic 3-0 if this is Zardex, yeah. Epic, I think it was me. What? Okay, it's fine. Faster? Right, what? Whatever. Wait, Scarf diggers me? Yeah, Scarf diggers me. That does make sense, but yeah. yeah um, I don't think he thought that. He, I'm <laughs> sure he thought it was Choice Band and his Epic Speed Trap was going to win the game. Yeah, anyway, I achieved victory. My team goes up 4-0 with that win, by the way, so we're up 
I keep that in mind. Can we talk about him talking about Togekiss and then bringing it two more times, and then like <laughs> William has never said it in Togekiss. <laughs> he was just gonna, he was just gonna air slash finish me with sorry, sorry, why next game? Ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Yep. Um, then we have Torterra vs. Cave. Yeah, this was a generational series, honestly. And by generational, I mean uh, like this. This series could have literally been from like 2019, because like Wolf players brought zero fresh teams. Zero. This is like one of the most uninspiring yeah. SM series I've ever seen in my life. So I'm just gonna speed click through this. Uh, game one, no Metagross two one Landris Therian GG. Uh, that was like the hardest Metagross two one ever too, because it was two fairy types. Uh, game two, yeah, game two. Ah, what are these teams, man? Can, ah, show some class. Uh, game two, Mega Charizard GG. Cave misplayed, I think. I'm no, it's, sure. it's just 50 50. It's a 50 50? Hmm, indeed. Because if they just outrage twice, you die if you beam turn one. Um, but beam turn one beats DD oh. or Flame Charge, and you just have to make the play. Oh, I see. Interesting, interesting. I think I'm not, I'm not missing anything there, right? I, but uh, yeah, this this guy is not actually this Meloetta guy is not actually a Charizard answer in this gen. I literally like, thought not, this, not a counter always, as well as it is. In, yeah, I always thought the Z no, kill right. turn one. <laughs> not gonna lie. Yeah, no, 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 no. Obviously, that's that's but if Charizard is hell, it, it this is not a Porygon. What the fuck? Anyway, next game. Yeah, I just yeah. get the series off my screen. Uh, Tartaria is three by <laughs> Primarina somehow. Um. Next, 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 both players being Zard Gera. I'm not even clicking play on this battle, but Magnezone beat something. I think Gyarados. Um, the next game, I don't even know. The Mellow 1 2 gets picked into the Genesect 3 L. Wait, Genesect 3 L? Hold on. I literally just noticed that. Yeah, it's just a Genesect, <laughs> it's just a Genesect 3 L. Uh, next I don't know. Genesect, the Genesect is like the, the new Mawile, man. I, I see this shit claiming 3 yeah. too. Yeah, there the was the one game... in PL against Squirtle too, although that was my team. It's so crazy. Anyway, we have the Weavile game. There's another one earlier game. this war. I don't know. Let's see. What even happens this game? Hmm. Does Cave go Garden Oh my god, the Weavile Wait, oh, yeah, wait Torderek's posting... He posted this stuff out of order, didn't he? Yeah, How did you already yeah. have order? Well, because I knew what the game 7 was, so it's fine. So oh, you see okay. in the we, You can't even comment on it. Like, you gotta at least give me a word. Like, I was like, I was confused for a second there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> So all right, all right, all right, all right. This looks like Techno fucking loses. Never mind. That corpse should crash to zero. Nice rest by Cave. I respect that. Okay, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. He can just click Flame Charge and ha and be able to react at any point in this matchup. By the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know why I wasn't clicked. I was like, lose. I remember watching this like on break at work, and I was losing my mind. Like, why are we not Flame Charging? That's a and then like good it just point. didn't matter. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Let's see, was Torterra play the Z Corsu Crash? Or I mean Z Metal Sound? Hmm. I was I don't think there's actually rules. I don't even know if we actually need to flame charge. Like I think it's reliable hundred percent, but I was just mad that we didn't just just in case. Like it's just on principle we should be yeah. clicking flame charge man. Come on. Yeah, that's fine. The next game we see or the final game, game that's seven fine. in the clutch. Torterra brings Italian God Squad. And then Cave brings Mega Metagross 3 O's. And then Meta Metagross 3 O's. Actually it doesn't beat Zero Aura, but it's fine. It does. It's a, it's a spiritual 3-0. Right, what zero or is it? What? Okay, what zero are you envisioning like losing to Metagross? Or sorry, beating Metagross, except for like bulky charge. Char bulky charge, that, yes. <laughs> I guess you Okay, well, if, okay, so, so if you look okay, first of all, all all of the sets in the sets comp or sorry, in the like calc at least will lose. So I don't think it's that crazy to think that Zero loses, because there's the there's just the Spidef charge set which dies to Earthquake. Right, and then there's bulk up charge, or sorry, there's bulk up electrium, which dude, just loses to earthquake because you don't all, kill with plus one. They're all bulky charge now, man. They're all bulky charge. Well, we no, were not bulky charge. I think we were choice banned on this team because if you look at the, I don't remember actually. I think it's for yeah, Gardevoir, but also Swampert beats Gardevoir with only one sleep turn or with two per sleep turns. So, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, that that was that was not a great series, but we move on. Yeah, uh, Squirtle one v one versus Crytocon. This is also not a great series. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Uh, game one. I'm just gonna start clicking through this. Ferrothorn gets picked in Volcar when it packs it up. Goodbye. Yeah, it's a tan Squirtle Bomb. Save it like Ferrothorn? What? What are you doing, man? Come on. You know, I don't know what the hell this uh, team was. Yeah, then, then, then Squirtle starts bringing some real Pokemon. Uh, what even happened this game? Oh my god, this game. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna let No, play. not this game. Oh, <laughs> this game. oh. No, not this game. No. <laughs> 
Oh no! There's no way it's this game. <laughs> no. Hey, where do we even start? Where the fuck do we even start? <laughs> I'm just gonna let it play. <laughs> but like, so much of that. There's, there's no. Like, way. I can't decide which sequence is optimal, but they all win. Like everything I'm envisioning wins. I just I can't decide like where like. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's just no way. Metagross is three hours this game. It's fine. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> It's just the Metagross 3 L. <laughs> oh god. Metagross 3 L. <laughs> like you can just mm. like like DD and Outrage. Like Yeah, you can literally you can regular DD and stuff. You can just... Yeah, you can also just not mega, but that one that one's like a little risky into not really into T Punch because T Punch and a bullet punch I mean, is never like, killing still. Like no. But <laughs> no, there's no sub T like, sub that's not, that's not, not real. Sub T punch is not a thing. Nope. Oh, you know, also, well, no, no, it's because, it, like, it, let's say it doesn't reveal sub immediately. Like, let's say you're just worried about, like, a, a, raw, like a regular T-Punch set, you know? Mm, yes. Like, you don't want to, if you don't, if you don't Mega, you could lose, in theory, to T-Punch and a Bullet Punch if it can kill. But it can't. <laughs> this is very in theory. But, yeah, whatever, it's, it's just a Metagross 3 i I'm calling it that. Uh, no, no, no. See, next game, Squirtle does this thing where he clicks a Scarf Focus Blast one and then always hits it. Um, <laughs> the next game, Squirtle plays his odds again, just goes to ban Hoop on down and just flinches the crustle. Or actually, no, oh, it was a dodge. It was a rock oh. record dodge. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Are we going to talk about this one? Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, I remember thinking about this game. I'm like, oh, the, we're going to talk about this in the recap. Oh, hold on, hold on. What? All right, whatever, it's fine. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. So I had like, a, I, I went in a spiral looking at this. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. choice band. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm like, the ra- I'm like, okay, the random choice band crustle for no reason has gone too far. <laughs> that was no, my I... first thought. But then I was like, no, 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 if it's choice band, it, like, it might have like X scissor. Like, I was like, something's still not adding up. And then I don't remember who it was, but someone was like, dude, it was obviously Normalium. And I'm like, oh, and it didn't want to shell smash, fearing Scarf Hoopa, I guess. Yeah, that's the play. Scarf Hoopa. But SM. you also Scarf just like Hoopa don't kill game. like mm-hmm. any Hoopa set, so I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. All right, whatever. Anyway. Like no, no, but like, like, do we think that killed? <laughs> I'm clicking that's, that. That's off. just that's where I want to end this with. Like, do you I think, think that's just Normalium and it just did, I didn't kill? No, I think it's banned. I think it's banned. Yeah, <laughs> is this really? Is, where, is this where we're at? Banned to Crustle for absolutely nobody I'm, in 2024. I'm gonna say it's banned, and I'm gonna click, go to the next series. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Dreepy versus Euphanos. We got a banger. Uh, we see Charizard and Porygon 2 on my screen. Uh, see, Euphanos clicks Kingdra, but it is not Dragon Dance Kingdra. So it is slain by Celebi. I think Rain Dance is a lot more common right now. Yeah, DD Kingdra may have also lost, so who knows. Uh, yeah, I don't think that killed. That was, that was definitely just like a free sub turn, too. Next game, this oh, this game was funny. So this game, Euphanos clicks like safe Umbreon. And then the oh, this is, is the fucking this is, yeah! <laughs> this shit is fucking bite. Why is it bite? <laughs> uh, it's bite for Rona. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's bite for Rona. It's bite for the flinch outs and PP. I think, which I respect. I respect that. You don't need to run like payback or anything like that. Just bite people. Power play. Does that exist this gen? Uh, no. That's a gen five move because I remember that's like Leopard. That's it. Or like um, and not M. Uh, Sharon's Leopard uses it. Leopard is the Pokemon Black you Black. remember foul play by? Yes. Because <laughs> Sharon's Leopard uses it. That's the rival in Black White. Anyway, we somehow get a God Braylon matchup, except for one thing. Because <laughs> Braylon was probably just an 03 if we're thinking about it. I mean, it just gets Specs Ice Beams and exploded. I assumed that was Specs. Um, but yeah, that was a classic Braylon. You can just apologize, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Uh, then G Dreepy G- G- thinks it's ADV and brings Tauros. Fortunately, Tauros is not real in this gen. Also, brings it Breloom again. Very interesting. I Clicks think it's ADV again too. too. This, this Empole- time it wins. This Empoleon is not Chopple, so it is slain. What's Empoleon into? I guess I'm just thinking back to the Suicune game, and like, surely its best move to hit like Suicune with is just Seed Bomb, right? Like, there's yeah. no Bullet Seed ignition anything in this gen. So I, I don't even think Kun died. Yeah, Even if that's failed. I don't know. Ban Braylon was pretty strong. It's like as strong as Mega Charizard. But... 
Okay, I'm running the Calcula Shans, and I'm looking at if it's max HP Coon, then it's still a good roll in Berlin's favor to to kill. Okay, okay. Yeah, Berlin. Maybe yeah. I disrespect this guy a little bit much. You can't disrespect disrespect him that much. Anyway, yeah. yeah uh, that's totally... See, game five we see as elf as elf losing energy mon, but it wins here. Uh, yeah. Because Euphanos is not the T wave crest or T wave clef. He's the like thunderbolt brass, not life orb set. It is slain. Oh, is, if, does this make Cresselia's, or sorry, does this make Clefable's only loss this uh, tournament, uh, this stupid calm mindset being run for no reason? <laughs> the only loss ever. <laughs> I think it does. I don't think Eli has lost it once. Yeah, probably not. I mean, yeah. At least not once. Anyway, uh, then we have Lumi versus Bernie, and all I remember from this series is a lot of unmons are being brought, so I didn't actually... I actually... just remember the series being absolutely terrible, inexplicable, all of, you know, Yeah, I'm just going to go through these games. Let's see what happens. Uh, we see Crown Ron got brought game one. Nice. I mean, these are um, all. I don't remember what happened. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this Spectre gets slain by Aegis Slash. Uh, probably Wisp. Yeah, I mean, correct. this is what, this is what Blurb wishes he could do against bomb teams. Is sorry, no, 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 hang on. This is, no, sorry, what am I saying? Where this is, this? is Is this the second time that. Hang on, Where's I gotta remember Wisp? the sequence. Is this the second time that a bomb team has defeated the Spectre meant to see team it? I swear it, ha yeah, I swear it is. Where's Where's Wisp? Yeah, I was remembering. Okay, it's fine. MP. I guess it's technically 50-50. It. I think CM makes sense. I'm just kind of surprised that it lived Life Orb Hex. Yeah, I am too. But at the same time, could have Willow. Like if you... It's fine. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you can Wisp, but Wisp turn 1 can lose. Wisp turn 1 is losing if it has Sneak. Okay, go to the next game. I want, to, I want you to take note of Lumi's team here. Ferrothorn, Zapdos, Urshifu. I want you to keep note. I want you to keep note of it for later in this video. I'm yeah, we yes. see a com we see comfy yeah. rotom here from Burn Dog, and I mean, maybe just clicks Urshifu. Uh, that I don't even think that was AV Urshifu. I think rotom he just did zero damage. No, I think but, that was Specs rotom and Urshifu. Hmm, perhaps. I also don't think Wicked and okay. Sucker like make. I think AV, Wicked and Sucker honestly is really uncommon aside from AV. Yeah, that's true. Okay, if this was also AV Urshifu, keep that in mind too. Anyway, next game. Bernie brings Rotom Heat again for some reason. Pretty sure it picks it again too. Yep. Yeah, it was just slain by Rotom Heat. Or Rotom Heat gets slain twice in a row. Uh, uh next game. We see some real Pokemon get brought by Bernie and we see Masharna Raboot. I'm just gonna let this game play. Because this game's kinda funny. So you say Aim Amir. That's like a Lobra's square name or something. We yeah. see Yan. Okay. Then we see Endure. Okay. Garchomp is Outrage. We see Patea Berry activate. Okay. Garchomp is asleep. Okay, and then we see Moonblast. The 70%. <laughs> Gets the two turns sleep. Goodbye. No, that's a good game. Dude, like, can, we, can we go back? Hang on. Can we go back to turn three and just look at the chat? Here it comes. Raboot's good. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, I just no, it, that that's bomb, right? Poison bomb yeah, is definitely poison bomb. Poison bomb is bomb. Here it comes. <laughs> I just like him hyping up his own team. Like here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, shout out, Bomb. And yeah, then someone it's... later says, "Like, never say something bad about someone's team before seeing it yourself." And then Bomb like up arrows. I just, I, I just, <laughs> yeah. I See, this game smells a lot like a Zeramir. I don't know what happened. Oh, Arcanine. No, this is oh, the this is the most obvious call Arcanine of all time. And then like oh, Relic Imp picked. Like it's called. This is just a for you. Yeah, Relic really can't do zero damage. Okay, next game. <laughs> Uh, we see a carbink get brought. Why is there a carbink? Yeah, whatever. See nine tails. We see another no fear arcanine. Well, well, well played, Delumi. We see encore turn one. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but what? Moving on. Okay, yeah, why did you on. want me to Lumi team? No, no, no. Just, just keep it in mind for later in the series. It's fine. Anyway, the series is over. Later in the in the week. Oh, I mean later in the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see both of us across the ice lad. I was gonna click through this series. Uh see game one we get three out by Genesect. So I don't know what happened here. Um so yeah, that happened. We're not we're just like okay, I mm, no comment. We're just, we're just no outrage, Gara. Whatever, it's fine. Um next game we, we wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, wait. Wait, where's the Z Dragon dance? Bro, I mean that was special. It, that was special. 
Oh right, this is the this is the Reggie Drago. Yeah. Reggie Drago. Yeah. I'm not anyway. oh, I shouldn't leave that. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Anyway, next game, um, we bring probably the worst team that's ever been brought in a 1v1 tour. These two teams are the worst two teams that have ever been brought. <laughs> yeah, we're, th- we're three by Amazon, probably. But we, we go Charizard Y because, you know. I think we're debating this, right? That, that it actually, uh, Ambipom wins that matchup versus Chansey. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we, we picked the Charizard Y, which I respect. Um, and then we win. Yeah, no fear Charizard Y. The next game we get out heated finally we see we face Blacephalon and Cray Dilly. And then we get scared of Cray Dilly, so we go Gardevoir. And then we get owned by like Specs Blacephalon, I think. Specs Blacephalon does not actually learn Focus Blast, for those curious. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how like Lobro is the least real Pokemon in this field? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh next game. We have like two mons that look like they win. Uh we go banned cart and then we miss Giga. That's unfortunate. Then game five, yeah, we lose to every Pokemon on the screen, so I'm just gonna click off. Uh, the, oh yeah, this is Bulky Charge there defeating Metagross. So yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, okay, Metagross. I wanted to like look at the game four team. Like I, I game like Bofer's game four team. Yeah, no, no, I just I can't like have this beats any physical attacker. Yeah, it doesn't. It's fine. Oh, maybe it's I'm Z thinking Baby about if lies. it was just an electric. But Z Baby doll eyes relax. Oh, sorry. It's the baby doll lies on the front. Okay. Fine. <laughs> yeah, the, the the common choice band Cartana and Electrium there are right answer. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Makes no sense. Dude, there's a lot it's of fine. Meta, okay, there's a lot of Metacham teams out there that lose to Zero. That's something I've noticed in SM. If you run Metacham, there's a good chance you might lose to Zero Aura of some variety. I have a Metacham team that like loses to I think Zero Aura, Greninja, <laughs> any choice card folk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Full Brown heroically stepped up to save our almost. Yeah, and from Palestine. We're reading the Palestine. Oh. Palestine and SMBs had like the worst scheduling ever. Uh, we see Kana Greninja <laughs> sub in for Looser. We're going to watch this series. We see Kana Greninja's debut. Wait, this is all I thought it was Monopoke. No, oh. this is not Monopoke. This is a real series. Well, I, see, I always I always see Kana Greninja and I'm like, ah, it's Monopoke. I'm moving on. Okay, okay, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, so you see Conor Greninja's debut. In his, first, in his debut game, he loses to Ferrothorn. So that's an unfortunate start. Uh, Encore turn 1. 54? Yeah, that did 54, by the way. 54 to Helmet, oh, by the way? Huh? Was this like Muscle Unchoiced? Band? What? I think it was Muscle Band Ferrothorn. Not sure what happened there. No, oh, no, okay, wait. Look at the power up, though. That's just like a Spadef as hell aroma, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think it may have been... But Maybe also, I still okay, know Gyro does that. Okay, I, I, I have a solution. Maybe it's not min speed aromatis. Maybe that was what happened. No, obviously it's not. Okay, no, yeah. So this is non min speed aroma, and then that's just like a max roll from Gyro. It looks like <laughs> versus like a zero. This is this is this is no. This is non min speed, and this is like zero spidef. Or sorry, zero fizdef. I mean, Dude, that was that's crazy. All okay. right, Rick, Rocky Helm. Yeah, this, okay, this that makes. Yeah, I get it go to the next game, whatever. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I, run, I run it. I run, like, Spadef, Rocky Helmet sometimes. Yeah, but I run min speed. <laughs> yeah, probably run min speed next time. It's all right, man. Let's see, next game. Uh, we see a pretty raw Landorus Incarnate get picked. I respect this Landorus Incarnate. Well played. I mean, it's a Landorus Incarnate 2-1. <laughs> Landorus Incarnate 2-1. Um, next game, Bayo brings Derek Squad. <laughs> um, and then, unfortunately for... Oh, Kong, I didn't get didn't get Wait, isn't that on the bingo? Derek squad? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, One for the bingo. Let's go. Oh, oh Bay is using Persona nicknames, by the way, for anyone who didn't notice. Anyway, this game, Connor Greninja is 3 0 by Spadef and Romatisse, so that's pretty unfortunate for him. <laughs> uh, anyway, mm-hmm. next game. Uh, we see this. This is a team hey, that Wiki we brought. Barry. Wiki Barry in 2024. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, you see, Bia brings a team that Lumi brought with Stall Arcanine. I don't even remember what happened this game. How is how is Zara or oh yeah, there's an Aegislash. Oh yeah, we see that matchup. Zara into AG. The Arcanine 1 2 not picked. And this is AV Zara, but it eventually loses. Doesn't get the crit. Then game five. This game five preview is funny. Because I'm like, this is for sure gonna be right period into Volcanion. And then whichever mon is cussed at Barry's gonna win. And I, I just knew exactly mm-hmm. what was gonna happen. I didn't know who was cussed at, but one of these guys or one of them was cussed at. So, and it turns out to be Conagrin and Joe. So, he wins. GG!
So yeah, Connor Greninja gets the W. Um, and we see Lobra versus somebody career ended. Yeah. Let's see, this is a team that you. This is a series that your team actually won this week. Yeah. One out of two. Um. Let's see, play sound off. You see Zapdos into Guja. This is a veteran Guja pick because Guja kind of wins. Yeah, it kind of wins. It's a bit of an Azum rail. It's a 2 1. Yeah, I believe in Guja to win that with like counter or something. Um, anyway. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. All right, next game. Next game. Have that. Next game, both players just being Crusher Cresselia. Yeah, I don't even know why Crusher Cresselia is a core that's broad, but it's fine. Um. Play. I mean, I okay, ours was... makes sense, but theirs doesn't. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they Our team does not defeat Metagross. Our team yeah. does. Hmm. Wait, there's a type of Coco Relax. Anyway. Uh, just I, uh... It's X's or Cross All, so Cresselia gets owned. Uh, let's see, next game. Next game, I fell asleep at two Ferrothorn teams. You see, Drag. Oh, this game was very curious because there was no, there was no um, clear body. So I don't know what happened there. Um. That one's on. I didn't QC this team. Um, I didn't build this for the record, but I did not QC. I did not. I, I think he posted this, and then I just did not catch this. So that is a little bit on me. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe it's, uh, it's good for. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. Anyway. Normally I catch these things. You remember the <laughs> Magnet Pull um, yeah. Magazine in PL? <laughs> Magnet yeah. Pull Magazine. Anyway, okay. So Lolbro, Lolbro brings the. Moltres, Crossel, Tapu Lele, Trash, any team. This team has like never lost ever, and it continues not to lose ever. So, yeah, shout out to this team. Yeah, shout out to Tiffany. Yeah. Um, remember, remember this was this used to be Scarf Tapu Fini, but it got switched, which you can see turn one. I by don't remember this being Scarf Tapu Fini on any variation of this team that I I saw ever. Seriously. <laughs> uh, oh, Fini. Sorry, I thought you meant Lele. Sorry, I was uh, really lost. Scarf yeah. Lele. I was like, what? Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no. This is not really team. This is normally Scarfini. Yeah, but also the the team order was switched, so I I, I definitely knew this was going to be some nonsense. <laughs> True. Anyway, Lobra gets another S S win. Uh, yeah. No, Mono if Chansey's not in the middle, then someone else rebuilds it. You know. Am I watching this Mono Poké series? Let me no. Click on game one. Oh, it's Connor Greninja. I have to watch it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this quickly. Uh, Earth Gurgle, Mono Poké, Titan. See, I'm not watching Don Rosa versus Don Rosa. What happened? Yeah. yeah, it's actually just PP stall. I click skip to end and it's what just you, what, do you what, what do you think it's going to do? Quick fucking, like, like leaf storm? Like, Dude, what? Holy shit. <laughs> we see Tackle, Noble War, Water Gun. Oh, Connor Greninja misplayed. He didn't have Leperberry. Ooh, misplay. <laughs> the throw. Oh. <laughs> anyway, next game. We have Furret versus Furret. Yeah, I got this uh, normal gem, choice scarf. Interesting. Interesting decisions by both players. Trick last resort. Nice. Uh, next game, Gliscor, Gliscor. Yeah, I'm not watching this. Knockoff Ice Fang. <laughs> what? I mean, it I has Ice Fang. Like, it's not going to be that bad. Next game is Halucha. Surely Halucha is just a speed tie. Trailblaze? The plot thickens. Dual Wing Beat. Wait, you all behind. Obaberry? How was there a Trailblaze Halucha? Zero damage. Acrobatics, Cobra. Yo, acrobatics, nothing. Uh, uh, okay, better. All right. And shoulder versus shoulder. This is just Terra Blast. Yo, it specs Terra Blast is hella funny. I like that. Anyway. X. Oh, it's Eviolent. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Anyway, we have Mishla versus Gold Mason, ADB one v one. Game one. This is one of the funniest games I've ever seen. You see Medicham into Salamence. Salamence clicks uh, HP flying and Medicham lives on one? What? How the fuck did that live? So this is weird choice band. We're choice band Salamence, by the way. <laughs> this max this is max it, this it, yeah. this has to be max defense Medicham and it's still a roll in our favor. It's like I think it's fifty six point three percent to kill if this is absolute max max. Yeah, this is this is disgusting. Anyway, like like or, so already I'm like, okay, fuck off. <laughs> then Game two Game two sure and you pick you pick Toxic Aerodactyl into basically nothing. Um, yeah, nah, I don't know. Yeah, he was, yeah. Probably know. should have Toxic well, Mason goes one. The rails after the game one. Yeah, also, I think mm -hmm. Toxic Turn 1 made it playable, but I'm assuming it was just rest and like we lose. So I don't I don't think yeah, this game, this matchup should, was winnable at all. Probably rest. And then, I don't even know if Blissey beat 1v1 or if we were just 3 0 by Slowbro. 
Uh, next thing we see Tauros come out. This is not a good Tauros matchup, actually. Very rare. Uh, Band Double Edge does not do much damage. And then it's the agility overheat shit. So Moltres wins. I'm surprised. No, 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 no. Kill. Okay, so this, this flamethrower, I don't know. Uh, I don't this know. This flamethrower flame is like a, like, a, like a bad roll to kill. Interesting. No overheat. Bury among us. Yeah, so but assuming this is max modest charcoal, this is like a 50% roll to kill, which makes no sense to click over overheat, but Mishlif gets bailed. Max modest. I also don't know why we clicked double edge instead of return. I, uh... Yeah, it's fine. Um, I think maybe. Like, not only am I mad about the luck this game, but I'm also just mad at my players throwing. Yeah, it's alright. I think. Again, all these long series. Maybe uh... double edge is better versus risk turn one. Maybe that. Mm -hmm. he, I, he, no, he literally just immediately said, like, oh, I don't know why I double edged. <laughs> anyway, we get to the series that I told you to keep in mind for. Anyway, we have both Bobs and 27 versus Close. Close is my player. This we're up 4 0. Anyway, uh, game one, see PZ. PZ into Chomp. We're bulky PZ, so we just live Outrage. We died to Band Outrage. Note that, but it's fine. Man's not real, it can't hurt you. Um, game two, Bo Bobs and 27 brings Derek Squad. Derek Squad bring gets proud again. <laughs> and then the, the close clicks a raw Gardevoir into Feeny. Those LE3 is defeated. Now it's Misty Terrain. Wait, hang on. Power. I forget. Who, what happened the other What happened the other Derek Squad game? The other Derek One. Squad, um, Kana Greninja got 3 0 by Spideff Aromatis. Ah, right. Okay. okay. Basically, so that's, the, okay. that's the superior Derek Squad version, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's what we knew. We knew this. But also, if it's not Fizdef or Omatis, which it wasn't, then it doesn't be Entei. You just lose to Toxic Entei. This is true. It's fine. Nobody brings, nobody brings Entei. That's why you also lose to Toxic Entei. I forgot. The sequence is like, if Entei just spams Protect Turn 1, you literally can't kill it ever. Yeah, I remember labbing that, like, extensively. On, like, in, like, multi every yeah. team that I've ever been on, we, we lab that somehow. And I'm always right. <laughs> anyway, close to the That's just one of the many things we wish have labbed with their Omatis. <laughs> Anyway, we see Ishisha Ninja versus Inteleon. Um, one of these mons gets picked. Um, and it's the Shedinja. Uh, close expecting the land Rastarian Fear. Um, this is like Scarf Physical Curum. I don't know what happened here. But yeah, Shedinja achieves victory. So Shedinja 100 Scarf right? Yeah, Scarf Physical Spear. I don't know what happened. Anyway. The next game. Right. This is what I told you to keep in mind the team. Close brings him a champ, Ferrothorn, Zapdos. So basically, this is just like the Chad version of the team that Lumi brought. Because we have AV Machamp and some oh, AV Machifu. Yeah. So, yeah. Although yeah. now it loses to the Dragapult, so sure. No, no, we don't. Relax. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Mach Machamp's fine. It's okay. Uh, yeah, this game, no fear of Ferrothorn. It's DD Regidrago. But it doesn't even matter. It has to be like Life Orb Firefang or some shit to beat us. And it's not, so we win. I remember cooking that shit. I remember cooking that shit week one of OGPL. I was like, <laughs> or like week three. I was like, yo, DD Firefang, the Ferrothorn Lure. And it'd be nothing else. It, yeah, it, it also can lose to Custap. So I super scrapped it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so close wins 4 0. We win the week. Then we see Frito versus Gorilla. Yeah, this series made me kick a table. It's fine. Um, game one. Uh, you, guys are a little, <laughs> you guys are a little Among Us versus uh, Medicham Pokemon. Is normally a Manaphy. Interesting. No, it, it, it. I don't know. <laughs> I, apparently, I, I've been passing this team around like five billion times to Gorilla, and I did not realize that it was nicknamed Normalium. I guess I decided that this was some funny haha -ha psychology, but we're never bringing this team again after the cursed vibes from this game. So it is not Normalium. <laughs> fucking water. This is Normalium. What does Normalium tail blow do? Plus one speed, maybe? No. Way. Anyways, this is way. Oh, uh, no, it's not Normalium. Like, oh, I mean, Dom has oh. brought that before, but. No, nah, whatever. Anyway, game two. Um, no, 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 no. We're not game twoing immediately, okay? We are way bulkier than a normal Manaphy. This is like a roll in our favor to live. I think it's like 30, 40 something. And we, like, so with that, plus the dodge odds, like, come on. So already, like, he, he gets, what, 40% chance? I think it was 43% roll to kill. Plus dodge. I, got, I, got, I need the statistics for this game total, okay? 43... <laughs> Point seven five. Hang on, hang on. No, sorry. Zero point. We'll do four four times zero point nine. Yeah, we, we yeah we've got a four. We got a forty percent chance. Sorry, sixty percent chance to win this game. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> game two. Um, I think this is Volcarona into Insum, maybe. Yeah, it was. 
I don't know. How, I don't know how I remember that, but it's fine. Yeah. Interesting vocal. Role. Okay, now Gorilla decides. No thoughts, head empty. Okay. 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 So. I don't know. Like maybe this is just me, but I like. I think maybe the turn one play is ambiguous. I don't know. Like. I guess this really is just two fifty fifties. I'm just kind of mad the gorilla lost them. Wait, We're talking about game three, right? Game two. Wait, what? We're talking about game two. Oh, what? I thought Incineroar just Incineroar lost. Versus... Wait, what? I thought Incineroar just lost. No, 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 no. So it's... No, 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 no. Let me oh. double check that this is actually the bulk. Oh, I see. Let me make sure this is actually the bulky Volk. But I, I'm pretty sure that as long as you're at full, it's like really in your favor to live, oh, I thought. Oh, I see. Maybe it's so, 50%. So turn three is the 50-50, I see. Well, turn two also. Because if you just lariat into the sub, which is also pretty obvious, I think. Like, right. You can just Z the next turn for free and then lariat and you're good. And then failing that, you can still just lariat the sub the next turn. It's two 50-50s and you just have to win one of them. Correct. Okay. Interesting. Faco reveals this to be bulky Volk, so you don't. Yeah, with with, yeah. with plus one in swarm. Sorry, just with plus one. Yeah, you. It's a fifty percent roll to kill Insin. Interesting. So we don't get our odds here. Yeah, I thought Insin just lost. Very interesting. And yeah, no, no, no. I remember the same thing happened for Squirtle, but I think he was just max special. I remember from the Faco turn one, I was like, oh well, he's just max special attack, so I lose. <laughs> but I was thinking about the same sequence. Yeah. In serious, I played versus him. Anyway, game three. Gorilla doesn't pick Volcarona, which I thought pretty curious. But we see Mellow into Mellow. Doesn't beat Altaria. Oh, I, I think we thought he'd be Altaria. I'd win that. Um, so true. I don't really know what happened here. Um, uh, well, Gorilla missed Hyper Beam. But one of these players misplayed. I don't yeah. know who. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. It's um, I, As soon as I click Laser Focus, I'm like, oh, okay, this is just like Z Uproar. Or this is like the Uproar Calm Mindset. Oh, oh, right, the CM, CM exists. So they can't, yeah, so, so their, their play is, like, correct? Yeah, their play is definitely correct, then. 100%. Yeah, I, I can, you, it's not a roll to kill, I don't, but I don't really know what else you go for, like, it's kind of just lost. Maybe maybe CM is optimal for something, I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, we're, we have a lot more series, I don't even know how this is possible. We're already at, like, an hour. Yeah, this is going to be a two-hour video, it's fine. Anyway. It happens. <laughs> it was making up for last week. Uh, Neomon vs. Hero's Destiny. I'm just gonna click. Here's Peter Nick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, why series. do you not go to the text? We see someone Neomon knows and goes Shaman anyways. Mayo Shaman. Very curious. Hard leash seed, by the way. No giga impact needed. Uh, game two, we see Umbreon on the screen. Uh, Umbreon does not get picked. That uh, goes Lottie. He gets slain. No. Genesect. Shiny Genesect, by the way. Uh, then we see Double Sturdy Manaphy. <laughs> I mean, it was easy. Yeah, it's shiny. Why is, why, is, why is double sturdy mana on my screen? Anyway. Now we see Blast we yeah. see Infernape win a game somehow. And then the next game we see Infernape not win a game somehow. So that's crazy. Anyway. Uh a Heroes Destiny also stole this team from DPP, just a fun fact. Let's see Crescent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Euphanos ran that at some point. Uh Fire. Maybe see Palestine versus Super Mean Bros. I don't even want to click on this series. I'm gonna click on the last two games to see what happened. So hey, we have to watch the game one. Game one, oh yeah, game one. Super Mean Bros. I mean, like the game one because the, the replay just like doesn't exist in the thread, I guess. So for the people who want to know what happened, game one. Yeah, it's just taking forever to load for no reason. Okay. Three uh, W. Let's, let's go. Uh, Amber Palm picked in the Breloom. Thing actually just drops the fighting gem mock punch. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Did you see the Braylon 3-0? I killed two every pull. Yeah. Uh, yeah, crazy Braylon 3 0. See next game, we see Thunderous, the Volcarona. Uh we see Charge Taunt. Very curious. Thunderbolt. Okay. Overheat. It's fire gem. Uh-oh. Among us, among us, among us. Yeah, and this Palestine loses. <laughs> uh so sub was probably correct there. To not get fire gem. I think sub makes sense to blow the to blow the charge. Yeah. Let's see next thing. How how did how did Super Mean Bros throw? Did you see Heatran? Super arm chairing this. I'm like in some group chat. And people were super arm chairing both these games. Like oh, I was no. like, oh, they we they both threw. No, no. Yeah, this is like a set guess from SNBS. A set guess. This. 
No, a sub is literally correct. SMB makes the correct play. Sub, like, just wins. Sub is the optimal play. And then you get burned and people blame him for it. Isn't Flamethrower a roll to kill the Thun? I think it's a good roll. What I looked at. Maybe? Okay, I, th- I just kind of... Okay, I didn't actually consider that much. I mean, in that case, it's, it's a 50-50, because you die to overheat after charge. Yeah, yeah. This is like some 50-50 Sekes Chungus. Uh, because Heatran can't yeah, overheat... Yeah, I, I don't awesome. blame him at all for, for subbing there. I probably would have subbed as well. Yeah, I think that's very reasonable. Anyway, so yeah, that's what happened there. Palestine gets his first win. Uh, then we see the replays of Zao's Archer versus Lin Lemon. Uh... See, this is how Zaza Jabara series. Where's the where's the what? How does this team be low punny? What? I guess there's probably endurance some Pokemon. But Lid 11 clicks Ocean World Greninja, which use victory. Well, it's uh, Lid has the team. Like, uh, Zio is just using teams that I passed him for against Bofor, I think. So, okay. like, I, I gave Lit all these pace because I saw the future and I'm like, okay, Zach is just reusing these. So, here. Okay. So, this is just like a super sleeping Greninja. Like, the Lop is adamant and this Granite is timid, I, I think. So, this mm. is just like right. 3 0. Add a lot, right. Anyway. I think that's the case, but Lit didn't actually post the team. So, I have no way of confirming if this Granite is modest or jolly. I have no idea. Or, I mean, uh, yeah. I feel like it's modest from the damage, but it's fine. That did do a me. lot, yeah. See, what happened in this game? We see a free Heatran get picked. Uh, it's not Specs Gengar on this. X does 29%, yeah, which is really not a lot of damage. That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, maybe this was some kind of bikini that like didn't beat slacking, so like like just banned or something, so mm-hmm. we picked Gengar. I don't know. Next game, we see the craziest Aggron matchup I've ever seen. But I'm pretty sure Aggron lost this matchup. Oh, yeah, because it wasn't... Uh, oh, it was a Metal Burst, right? Yeah, but it was burst. Metal burst what? Killed. Yeah, okay, it was metal burst. Yeah. I thought Agron lost yeah. this for some reason, but yeah, Ag- the Agron. No, 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 this is this is Agron three zero. Uh, in this game, I don't even know what happened. Lid eleven probably went Victini into Manaphy or something. No push, still, bro. I wish. No, still going to I wish he tried to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, Sylveon wins this. Anyway, it's fine. Um, yeah. Next, then the game five, we see Darkrai, Jirachi, Darkrai get brought. Um, this team loses to Gengar, by the way. Um, just thought I'd share. Actually, it's like an awkward matchup with Gengar versus Jirachi, actually. So maybe Magma Zone is preferred if you expect Jirachi, but Little Lemon did not expect Jirachi. So it goes Altaria. And it, the game somehow is winnable, because uh, it doesn't get flinched, but the Iron Head crits, so yeah. Odds were not in Lit's favor that game anyway, but yeah. Nope. Little Lemon is slain, first loss of the tour. Um, then we see the two clutch. So the Go Goats versus um, Spectre series was 3 3 at this point. And then we have their clutch series. So we have Elo Bandit versus Robin. Elo Bandit put Robin in a pack. This is insane. <laughs> uh, game one was insanely inexplicable. I don't even know what happened this game. Like, what? So, so we see Togus and Genesect. Label. Yeah, okay, yes, pretty reasonable. Like, and then Genesect is slower? What? Uh, Genesect loses. No, this is the classic. This is the classic bulky specs Genesect that loses to something it never should. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe if it was physical, maybe it was physical Z Iron Head. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it was really just bulky specs. Ah, anyway, uh, next game, Elo Bandit, No Fear Cartanas. To respect. Uh, it's not Banzer or on this team. Uh, so Bancart wins. Next game, there's a lot. Bancart. Okay. You think that's wait, actually wait? Wait, is that what that was? Wait. Hmm? Wait, wait, oh. wait. Are we just gonna ignore Gigavolt doing sixty three mm-hmm. or seventy three, which is obviously not like, which is obviously special, but also Z- didn't kill. Zara died. Oh, I clicked on the wrong replay. Well, the thing is, Zara died, so it had to be banned, right? Am I trolling? And I no no I I kind of agree that if it's a grass team you click it also obviously but I, I guess that means it's spit F band right? Well, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean I guess. Right? I think that's, that's oh I didn't even I didn't even notice the fact that it was leaf blade or not. Hug. Damage hug. It's grass team, but yeah no that's yeah I'm looking at it yeah that's that's like a spit F CB card I guess. Ooh interesting. Fascinating. Oh it is. That's crazy. There's a lot of spit F too. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Too interesting. 
Anyway, next game. Okay, so Daisy said two sexiest teams from both sides. I disagree. I do not like either of these teams. Uh, you see Terrakion. This is a pretty, not a good Terrakion, in my opinion. Um, let me see Clefable kill this Terrakion on one Moonblast, which I didn't even know was possible. So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this, this yeah, that Clefable happened. is. Uh, uh, Life Orb specs, something. Is this not a good Terrakion? I feel like I would... Wait, I, I don't know. I didn't actually... I've not run the calculations okay. versus Clef, but I feel like it's winnable with like Z and then Taunt on Moonlight or something. Yeah, no, no Terrakion's a good Terrakion. Don't don't worry. Oh, well, uh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, next game is a Metagross two one regular bandit still fully picks Incineroar, and then Z Metal Song gets picked, but no. Nah. So yeah, yeah. Shout out to Yellow Bandit. Put Robin in the pack. And then we go I just to want to say, I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a Metagross 2. He didn't pick it because it wasn't a Metagross 2 1. I think that was a <laughs> that was a Mega Aggron. I believe Metagross to win that somehow. Crazy. Anyway, we have Sancho Ko and Sumareko versus Marshmelto. Um Game 1 Marshmelto has the sick tech, the CM imprisoned Gardevoir. And then somehow doesn't get crit or frozen. I'm not sure how that happened, but yeah. Oh, Sancho started clicking the seismic boss a lot. Yeah, probably just needed to go for crit or freeze in this matchup. Uh, next game, we have the first time Marshmallow brings the Entei Regice Ludicolo in this series. I'm really not a fan of this team. I don't <laughs> like this team at all. This Entei Regice Ludicolo. Not a fan. They've been bringing it before, right? I feel like I've seen this team at least once before probably. on the store. Doesn't really defeat my champ. So I don't really like yeah. it on that basis. Um, it's not... Ludicolo, I guess. Yeah, Ludicolo could win, potentially. But, like, I don't know. I hit all of my champs' matchups in ADV because it has an Encore. So all of his matchups are, like, super, super sus. Um, anyway, next yeah. game. Uh, we see Armaldo get brought. We have the most insane Armaldo fish ever. And then the Raikou is not capable of defeating it. So... Yeah, the crazy Armaldo. I was like, it's the EQ Armaldo. I don't know if that's standard. Probably nope. is standard. Um, is Armaldo standard? <laughs> yeah, it was it was better when Zap was in the tier. Anyway, uh, we see the I second mean, time anti Regice Ludicolo gets brought. We're reusing the team that lost, which I respect. Um, we're just going to hard picks Ludicolo into something, I guess. Not sure what. Um, doesn't really beat Blissey. Unless, actually, no, Entei, like has really good odds to beat Blissey, actually. Uh, but anyway, I was, I was kind of funny during this game. I'm like, hmm. Does, does Ludicolo outheal this? And the answer is no. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Toxic five, eventually racks up to 100%. So. Marshmoto brings this again, which I was like, holy moly, bringing this again is crazy. But Marshmoto had a vision because it's banned Regice, and then it smokes the Raikou, which is definitely scoped. Yeah, this is the top sand fucking Regice. That, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just banned. All right, anyway, that's funny. So no, no, this is not banned. No, no, I, no, no, it's not banned. This is soft sand. It's soft sand. Are you serious? What? Did you I, I, it? No, it's because I've been past this shit before. Oh, that's crazy. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, what a series. Marshmallow wins in the clutch. Shout out to him. And then, apparently the viewers won this series. We have Crow Crumbs versus yeah, this, Tater Chan this, 79. This didn't happen. This one, this, 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 there's no game here, actually. Yeah, this We're series didn't happen. Let's see what happened. Uh, got some replays. You see Serena get brought. The first first game, Potato Chan 79 gets slain by Iron Defense Heatran. It's pretty unfortunate. I am 3 0'd by this, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Game 2. Potato Chan, a little Among Us versus Spectre Pokemon. We see a Rocky Helmet get, get brought, which is interesting. This is like some. I don't know how you. Yeah, this is obviously like anti Zera specs that gets loaded into the best anti Zera spec match of all time. So I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Game 2, we see P2 valiantly defeat Pukumuku. So at this point, after I'm down 0-2, RTM just starts passing me teams, and I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. I got nothing to do. So I just load Scarf P2 and it fishes matchup. So I... Uh, yeah, yeah, well played. Sure. And then we see Salamence and Zumoro Durant. Yeah, I swear to God, I've seen this team before. Oh, yeah. again, another RTM team. And then I fail to pick mm -hmm. the 1-2, um, so I lose for it. And yeah, the 1-2 just not picked. It's not Rock move on Durant, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I suck for five, this. Game 5, we don't need to watch. Uh, let's just say Potato Chan lost this game. Anyway. No, uh, uh, okay, so this is like modest pixie paint prim. Yeah, that's like 
the tech. But I, I, I was literally fine. I, at this point, I think I was just so mentally checked out. Like, I, I don't know how I misclicked. I don't think I've ever, like, just misclicked this badly in a game before. Yeah, I was a little confused what happened. I also didn't realize you misclicked until I saw the next I mean, game. either. I was just like, yo, why is it, why is it that so high HP? And then I was thinking, yeah. like, hmm, what do I do? I'm not going to do it. You know what? And then it took me, like, it took me a solid minute to realize I had clicked disabled again. Yeah, that was a little among us. I just clicked, I just clicked whatever skip to end and was like, wow, he's at really high HP. I wonder why he took no damage. <laughs> yeah. like. And you see me drop damage. timer and then I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I also hadn't calc at this point in the game, and I thought this was just bulky specs. I like didn't I didn't even open the calc because I was like it doesn't change anything. Um, but it wasn't until it revealed icy when I'm like, oh, what the fuck was that then? <laughs> yeah, it was the pixie plate tech. Anyway, so yeah. we see we saw an act call from Nexel onto slip, but um, Crow comes outlines here why like this was not an act call. So the series yeah. happens. Uh, if you guys weren't keeping track, the Spec the uh, step tiles are up six one at this point, so the Snorlax is winning. This is actually pretty big. Um, it doesn't so matter to us probably. We we still we are, are different. I needed to beat Crocoms for our, us to have a chance for tiebreak. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. with this right now, like our differential literally can't matter because the two teams we're fighting for, like we to qualify over both of them, we need them to tie. But then even if they tie, they can't have worse dif differential than them both tying because like, they're playing each yeah. other. Yeah, which we can get into. So we just need to later. win. We need to win. Let's we'll go, go through the yeah. series quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nuxle is slain by Clefable. How the tables have turned. Uh, game two, no Clefable's on the screen. Uh, what even happened this game? I th oh my god, this game. Oh no. <laughs> um, do you see Suicune and I don't his understand. I don't understand. We see Suicune's pressure go first, by the way, guys. Um, Suicune's pressure went first. But slip fix call mine. No. And like, was this just paralyzed. like protect lefty CM two attacks for some reason, or did he just have a brain aneurysm? I I think he slipped up. Haha, <laughs> slipped. Get it? Yeah, I think he slipped up there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next game, Nuxo decides it's time to win Clefable, and then Slip is of course terrified of it because it's Nuxo with Clefable. And then Sweep is <laughs> superior. Uh, it may have been a sweep in 3L. May, maybe. Anyway, um, next game, no Clefable's on the screen again. I guess people don't like bringing Clefable when it 2-1s every team in DPP. Every team, by the way. Are we going to talk about sweep in 3L when there was a Zapdos and a Crest? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, ne next game, no Clefable. Okay, look. Clefable and DPP 2-1s every team. Every team. Every team. Every there's, team. There's very few exceptions. So... It's very hard to punish Clefable. Anyway, this game we see Raikou into, into Cress. Oh, this game was like, wait, I was like, wait, what is happening in this game, actually? I mean, I was like, I was like really confused. So we see Protect and then Thunderbolt. Nuxo says GG turn 2. Slip says GG's turn 2. So I'm like, huh? What? What? Isn't this sub Raikou? Um, I'm not sure if that wins or not. It is Shadow Ball on Cresselia. So Nuxo had more than just psychics to hit it with. Um, so yeah, it was, I don't even know, whatever. This is slip, slip loses. It's Resto, Chesto, Cresselio. So, that's I guess you get, you get crit loss. You get crit less with that. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what happened. That was the last series of the week. So, uh, oh yeah, and then our last game was Dead Games. Okay, okay, so what happened there was we had to double sub um, BS double sub, but it's fine. And then, but we had to sub somebody in who said that they couldn't play. So we're just like, all right, I guess we're just dead gaming it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, nice. the Spectres tied to Gogos. Gogos tying is huge. If they would have lost, they would be, the playoff picture would be a lot less clear. Um, then we own the Nagnadel Rays, and the Septiles own the Snorlaxes, making for a very interesting playoff race. So, we go to Bull Bob's and 27's posts. Very clearly. I feel like this is one of the simpler playoff races we've had. Yeah, it's very, very cut and dry. The Spectres are in, Nagas are out. Uh, Spectres are not confirmed the first seed. If they lose, they can lose it. Um, then we go to the Go Goats. They win or tie there in playoffs. Woohoo! If they lose 5 3, there could be a three way tie break. 
So look forward to that, I guess. Um, but if they if they lose and then either the frost monster or the septiles win, they're out. If they lose six to a worse, they're out. Um, does, I, lo I love all of the win in, in playoffs. It's very it's very nice. Anyway, so my team winning in playoffs. If Lex has been 5-3, then we tie. We have the three-way tie break. Um, if the Laxes win by more than 5-3 or the go to win, and then we tie the septiles, we have a tie break because our differential is the same. Uh, and then free those are out, obviously. Same for the septiles. And then Snorlaxes are just winning in, losing out. Anything else happens, they're out. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, so then we can go to week five, I guess. Yeah, yeah sounds good. Uh, what was time? One hour, 15 minutes? This isn't even that long. Okay. Yeah. Well, since we yeah. have a little, we do have a bit of time. I just, um, after we look at week five, I have just, just a single replay I just wanted to share with you. It's like super unrelated, but I just think it makes for a great conclusion to the video. Okay. All right. So go through the matchup. So we do have the Sceptiles versus the Frost Moths. And then Magna Del Rage versus Spectres is a filler match. And then Gogos versus Snorlaxes. I think this is a really cool playoff race because... Okay, if we already have fucking two R RFNs for Rays versus uh, yeah, yeah. Spectres. I mean, I would RFN if I was on, a, on one of those teams for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We, have the filler, we have the filler series that doesn't matter, but between the other two teams, whoever wins is in playoffs, and then also between the other two teams, whoever wins plays each other, assuming the Spectres win, which, I mean, come on. Oh, that's funny. I didn't, I didn't yeah. think about that. So, Really, the playoffs have already started. Assuming, like, the Spectres... Wait, that's not true, right? If, I would, if Lax has win, don't we just play the other team that wins? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I was saying. Like, whichever team Oh, wins, sorry, I thought you were meaning, like, like, any, like... Okay, no, I don't know why I misinterpreted it. I thought you meant, like, we're just gonna have a rematch immediately, but that's yeah, not... No, no. That's not actually impossible. Okay. Rematch is not that's possible, not... no matter what happens. Except for if, if Sceptiles and Frostmoth tie... No. Is that... No, no, they no. think Gogos just get in over them? Wait. Yeah, one one of the go goats or Snorlaxes will get in. No, we can have the three way, right? If we lose There's to go go, also, no, hang on. What if yeah, we like tie go goats and then cross and septiles? Is yeah, it's three way for one spot though, so there's no. Three oh, way. okay. Because that would be Snorlaxes in, and then the other three teams tie break for one spot. Oh, but but Bofer did. Oh, sorry, but um, Bobson didn't specify Snorlaxes tie in in one of them at least one of the okay, three ways. Okay, because Snorlaxes tie, you lose. <laughs> like you're just out. And then go go to no no no, but like for the three way, like if we if we lose, I he said that like he didn't specify anything about laxes for one of the uh, three way ties, which would imply that it's the three way tie for two slots. I thought nope. <laughs> you just forgot to mention that. Okay, no, okay, sure. It's, it's not because your differential was worse than ours, so you don't you don't. What I'm saying is, if, if we're out and raise inspectors are in, and there's a three way tie, it's a three way tie for two slots, right? No. <laughs> okay, so you you tie. <laughs> And then go goats are confirmed in because they get to six points. And then how is there a three way tie? Wait, oh wait, the three way tie is if you win. Oh my gosh. Okay. But but there okay. was there, I swear to God there was a well, I thought one of his three way tie conditions like didn't oh have God. us mentioned at all, which is it's, where my confusion is coming from. Okay, I'm I'm going back going back to week four. We got to we got to go back. We got it is important. We got to investigate what's happening here. To look in go goats in go guts it says okay. moths tie septiles okay, creates a three way tie. It's a five three law. It's saying they lose five three, so that like implies that the laxes win. Oh yeah, right. That is what that one. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's okay. Fine. Okay. All right. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay. My bad. Yeah. Basically, basically the playoff started already though, so this is like an extended yeah. playoff bracket. So Spectres have like a super long break, assuming they win this week. They could just lose this week. You know, could happen. Um. Yeah. I personally hope the tie break happens, and I can. I'm not, I mean, look. If 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 I can throw to make the tie happen, I'll do it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that, that would be funny. Anyway, um, looking at the matchups uh, between our teams, uh, we have Bird versus Close. Got some bangers. Bird versus Close. Zio Zio Chip versus Taka, SBO teammates. Um, I'm versus Frito this week with three out Gorilla. So yeah, that's boy, fun. Oh, watch it. <laughs> yeah anyway uh, apparently people saw that series and thought this guy's viable enough on SM7 I hope you destroy him because I'm still mad <laughs> thanks man thanks man 
And then I'm going to cross out that entire series. And then we have Gogos versus Snorlaxes. Anyway, okay, this is where the real magic happens. Because both of these guys cooked with their lineups. <laughs> so first of all, we have Neumon versus Lobra. <laughs> we have Neumon versus Lobra. SS1v1 BO7. Out of literally nowhere. Like, I don't know where this matchup spawned from, but it's here. Um, should be alright. Uh, Zo versus Fragments. Okay, this series is going to happen at like midnight, at least. If not later. And it will not be Zo in that spot. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably gonna be Sunday night too, just like right before deadline. Or Zo would just sub out. Yeah, that's probably. Uh, right. Yeah, I would love nothing more than fucking Zo versus Fragments season on the line. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 yeah, don't gonna, manifest that, dude. It's, it's gonna be a good Sunday night. <laughs> okay, I mean that's still worse than like Toll versus whoever it was for like the PL decider. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That Sunday. would be the worst PL decider ever, just in history. Like, <laughs> And it then with so how good. the series itself went down, like we had counter walk on Togekiss, and then like, <laughs> oh God. did that even get picked? I don't remember. No, it was that. I don't know. Okay, no, no, I'm going on a tangent, but that that, that that just brought back memories. We have yeah, Squirtle one v one versus Potato Chan. Potato Chan taking take stepping up, taking on Squirtle one v one. Let's go. SM one v one Felucia versus Gorilla. Got a banger. Uh, ORS when we won Giga Banger, Sword is Board versus Cave, Giga Banger. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, but hmm, where did Little Eleven end up if he's not an ORS when we won? The answer ADB won't be one. Marshmallow versus Little Eleven. I don't know how this happened, but it's fine. Little Eleven, he did get the first seeding classic. So, you know, he played the old gens. And, and then anyway, I skipped over a good match. We have Burn versus Stable. Um, I don't even want to see what Burnian's gonna bring in Black White, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see. Dude, I already, you already know the hungry foodies and Burn are cooking in this oh, year. God, like, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see some like Hitmon Lees or something, something like that. <laughs> uh, I need yeah. to like. We our scout is not gonna be like an actual scout. It's gonna be the sabotage doc, <laughs> the, the Black White sabotage. sabotage. We're just gonna yeah. carefully examine the Black White sabotage doc uh, and yeah. prep for that stuff there. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then DP one for one. We have the match of the tour. We have Yuvanos versus Luxol. <laughs> it's actually so good. It's such a good matchup. I hope this game happens Sunday night too. That'd be a banger. Anyway, yep. I yeah, saw that's... the pirate pad, pad predicts calling this like teacher versus student. Excuse yeah. me, who are we calling Nuxle's teacher? You photos? <laughs> you photos mm? Nuxle's teacher somehow. It's fine. Whatever. So, yeah. Call me, baby. Um, there have some other stuff in the thread. Rob, Robin taking a seat. As I occupy my comfortable seat on the bench and deal with endless pages of Carlos bullshit. However, we have Potato Chan. <laughs> this is like the we are not the same meme. Dealing with my college bullshit on the front <laughs> lines because I'm not a bitch. I respect that. That's a good reply. I respect that. Dude, okay, I, I'm upset that I didn't quote it though. It's I, I, when I was when I had this open. <laughs> I fucking I had to like move somewhere else on on campus and then I sit down and like did not refresh the page before sending it and I'm like fuck there's been yeah. two predicts since since I last opened this yeah <laughs> it didn't anyway. refresh I threw but it's okay it's okay anyway this is kind of a banger week um so yeah we can look at the bingo I think it was in the commencement thread I have no idea no 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 we'll look know. at it next week once the, once next week ends we'll look at the bingo okay, for the recap fine. I think uh okay but no I got I got a, I got a banger replay. Okay. All right, all right, keep this. It. This is Bird was prepping for some black white draft, and we were like scouting his opponent. And Gen this is just the game of all time. Okay, Butterf hey, 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 no, let's see. This is your wheelhouse. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Oh, shit. Flutterfist versus the Viking 52. All right, we got some good Pokemon on the screen. There's a total of two OU, three. Wait, no, there's a lot more OU Pokemon than that. Holy shit. Okay, don't no. worry. Okay, I'll guide you through this. Okay, we're going to okay. skip to like turn turn five, turn six when okay, the Thunderous comes two, out, okay? Three, I just want you four. to examine the sequence. Okay, I'm at turn five. Secret Sword kills Polytoad. It's Encore in the Secret Sword. The Thunder Starion. Zeb Striker comes in. Okay. Substitute. Okay, free sub. Hidden Power Ice. Nasty Plot. Okay. Going for game. Switch out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the Hidden Power Ice at 8. Okay. Thunder. Okay, remember, remember that sequence. Okay, remember that sequence. Okay, we're going to skip. We're going to fast forward again. It. We're, we're going, going okay, where are we going? Okay, let me find. Okay, we're going, we're going to turn 14, okay? Okay, I'm at turn 14. We see Primeape in versus Crobat. U-turn, okay. Okay, we're into Thunderous Therian, okay. Zep Striker comes back in. HPI says 43, okay. Are we switching out, or what? HPI says 41. Red card! 
Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, pause, 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 Wait. pause, pause, pause. Not HPIs. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, there was a tangleberry oh. crook. There was a tangleberry crocodile. Whoa. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. So, can we just can we talk what? about this hidden power type? So it's hidden power. Wait, what? Hidden power rock, I guess. Four. four? You gotta hit Volcarona, I guess. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> There's no. This is draft. <laughs> oh, it's draft. Oh, this is that's draft. crazy! Whoa, 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 whoa! I thought this was an actual OU game. Well, apparently, shit. I haven't seen what? this guy's the teammates. I haven't seen the opponent's uh, uh, team. But according to Bird, the only feasible thing this could be is like hidden power rock or ghost or something or dark or something for the chandelier that this guy had. That is oh, the only the thing oh. that this hidden power could possibly hit correctly. Yeah. Which Thunder is doing two hundred percent more damage. But yeah, just what? Oh, right, well, that was good. Like, how how are you walled by crocodile? <laughs> and it's obviously power. not like some like oh HP like whatever, and then like grass knot or or something last because it clicks it again too. Like this is clearly its best thing to hit crook is because it clicks it Holy again. Shit. This Flutterfist guy's team is OP by the way. Polytoad, Thunderous, Starmy, Scizor. Are you kidding me? Oh oh oh! You want to know the best part? Yeah, I'm, I'm, what's the best part? He dropped his fucking Garchomp. <laughs> he has a Garchomp. Hold up. Uh, they I have a Garchomp. The, Garchomp. Okay, Garchomp is slower than all Mons except Crocodile, though. I respect that. Okay, I would run Suicide League Garchomp here. No, get a get a kill. At least get the uppies, yeah. Instead yeah, of like Miltank return kill. Stealth Rock, yeah. Let's see who wins this game. Uh, yeah, Zip Striker sweeps. Okay. And this is all I wanted to comment on, but yeah, no, this is uh. Oh, yeah, inspirational. Uh, all right. Any final words? Uh, no, th these are my final words. It was okay. just this game. That was all my right. end off. Good luck to everyone this week, except for my enemies. Bad luck to my enemies. All right, thanks for watching. I agree. <laughs>